Hi, this is a short video introducing a new feature that we've just added to the OWASP Z Attack Proxy, or ZAP for short. If you don't know anything about ZAP, then it's worth looking at some of the other videos in this series to get an idea of what it can do. The feature is called Browser Launch and it allows you to launch browsers from within ZAP. We just have the ability to open URLs in your default browser before, but this goes a lot further. I'm going to start with a fairly up-to-date install of ZAP 2.6.0. Although it can be run using Java 7, you will need a minimum of Java 8 in order to use the browser launch. ZAP has an online marketplace that allows you to keep ZAP up-to-date and to try new features. To update your add-ons, click on the Manage Add-ons button. If you haven't enabled Check for Updates, then you'll need to click the Check for Updates button. We do recommend that you turn Check for Updates on. I'll show you how you can do that later in this video. You'll now see the number of add-ons have been flagged as having updates. I'm going to install all of them with the Update All button. While you're here, you might like to have a look at the optional add-ons you can download and install from the online marketplace. These are all free and significantly extend the default ZAP functionality. You can hover over any of them to find more details. Now the ZAP has been updated, you see there's a new option to launch browsers on the Quick Start tab. It shows you a list of all of the browsers available for your operating system. You can launch any of these browsers. No matter what operating system, you will always see JX Browser as one of the options. We bundle this with ZAP, which means it's the only one we can be sure that will be available on any system. As you can see, all of the requests from GX Browser are being proxied through ZAP. You can launch as many browsers as you want, so I'll also start Firefox. and also Chrome. Each of these br browsers are proxying through ZAP and even though I've selected HTTPS URLs they're all working without any problem. This is because the browsers launched in this way are configured to ignore certificate issues, which means they ignore the fact that we're proxying through ZAP and using the ZAP root CA certificate. As well as launching browsers from the Quick Start tab, you can also open specific URLs in the browser of your choice. All you need to do is right-click the relevant URL, Select Open URL in Browser and select the browser of your choice. As with the Quick Start tabs, any browsers started this way will proxy through ZAP and ignore certificate warnings. These browsers all use new temporary profiles. If you want to use an existing profile, maybe with other add ons in already installed, then you'll need to manually configure the pro that profile to proxy via ZAP and trust the ZAP root CA certificate as before. 
This new feature uses Selenium 3, which is why we need Java 8 or higher, and requires suitable web drivers to be installed. We bundle web drivers for the main browsers with SAP, but if you need to change or configure these manually, then just open the, the Options dialog, and then select Selenium. You can also change the default page launch browsers will show on startup. And the check for updates options. So, browser launch allows you to proxy all of your browsers through Zap without having to configure each one of them with the correct proxy settings and without importing the Zap root CA certificate. If you have any problems with it, or suggestions how we could make it, or anything else even better, then head over to the Zap user group. You can do that via the online menu. Thank you for watching.